Hello everybody, welcome back to German Auto House. Today we work on this Rolls Royce Ghost. And that car actually it's second uh, visit to our shop. The car has the problem with this. One of exhaust control fault position not reached. It's mix uh, and the second one mixture to lean large duration. Last time uh, we do the engine oil flush, we replace cam adjuster solenoid, all four new. But still same problem, uh, still same problem and car uh, after just drive a little bit, like let's say a um, couple miles, just uh, going to leap mode and no power, just reduce, reduce the turbos, no boost, limited power. We've done everything. I mean, this is like a small and simple things, but now it's actually, we have to remove the engine and replace cam adjuster. It's only one way to drop engine down, remove all cover and replace adjuster. And anyway, we want to do a few more things uh, for this engine. But our goal to fix this problem. And okay, let's start. We know what we need to do. Now, just like start, uh, discharge the AC system and drain all fluid. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, just like install the stud because I'm really worried. It's a really, it's a hell of a long car. See, <laughs> now without the engine. <laughs> and yep, now actually we, we prepare the attention for repair. You can see, guys, Alex already working, and this side is done. The new cam adjuster right there. Now he continue work on this side and by the way uh, we can see the 40,000 miles engine like see how it's and we all also we already cleaned this engine see this is this is the carbon built right there yeah I mean I mean it looks like I'm sure the problem with these adjusters because we two or three time flush and try to clean these adjusters inside, but no, no luck. No luck. And now it's actually, you can see the engine drops for that replacement. I hope after these new adjusters, the trouble, the trouble is disappeared, but cross my finger. Yeah, this is how it's, how is the condition on 40,000 miles engine. Yeah, that car is came from California. Uh, I think it's a good idea for uh, valve guide seal replacement, but this is the customer wish and sometimes guys we actually we can't do what we want to do. Yeah, the customer decide just like replace this one first, uh, save little bit money <laughs> and maybe in the future, but I'm sure you know, everybody know the BMW valve guide is it's a common issue. Well, now just like our goal, install that engine back, fire up and check what's going on. But I, again, cross my finger, no more trouble. Bro. Everything is done, engine is assembled, intakes, replaced, gasket, blah, 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 cam adjuster. Now it's time to install back and fire up and check everything. I hope no any problem. Okay, now is the time to check how is Alex assembled the engine. <laughs> Let's fire up. Did you feel the pain? Now 
it's time to fill the coolant. Like for me, it's it's, it's running fine. I fine. mean, just like wide. Yeah, the first, uh, the few just like division. It's like a lifter, little bit fills. And oh yeah, by the way, after we fill the coolant, we need to do the procedure for uh, the cam phaser actuator adjuster whatever uh, the bleeding procedure because is the, the the system start fill open this solenoid and fill and bleed the vanos to avoid any air inside yeah now it's like the final step to assemble it a few more pieces back but i hope no more chicken engine light few more test drive and car is almost done why i say almost done alex because we need to make sure no any leaks, but car is running perfect, perfect. Let's say it's done. And Meister Dima worked today on the Bentley. Bentiaga, four liter. And we, that car have problem with the overheating. Here is the thermostat. Here is the new thermostat. See? Just like few more support, and you have access to this area. Here is the thermostat located. You need to remove this elbow, this pipe, drain of course coolant, and here we go. Need to install new one and forget it forever. I hope. So far, 15, one mile done. Now it's the test drive. Everything looks good and solid. Is powerful. Uh, tomorrow software update in morning time. Well, and this is final step for this Rolls Royce. We drive a little bit to check everything is good and fine. Looks like we did everything right. No more check engine light, but it's bad. We need to update the software version for DME. You can see the flash code, flash code. And actually we upgrade from this software version to this software version left and right ECU uh, I need to drive another 50 mile to make sure no any problem anymore and car is ready to go today we have a McLaren MP4 spider for service uh, transmission service the car has problem with just like hard shift and uh, the problem with the rear uh, air brake uh, 50k miles we decide to do the transmission flush uh, clutch and uh, gear oil flush and just want to mention about a few things this is the clutch side and that filter already replaced this is the gear gear side and uh, just like a little problem little problem a little problem this filter this is the old one and actually you can see it's really black and uh, i see the just like a friction like a copper in uh, it's possibly to wash and clean this one but no i would like to i would like to replace this filter but see just like we little bit bent it's impossible to move outside this looks like have to be replaced when the transmission is out. Oops. almost fall down just a little bit pull this transmission on this side for removal and this two seal it's leaking i want to replace that filter too it's it's really important things to replace and and see how is the black the clutch filter want to replace it's oops it's really simple procedure for transmission flush just about three liter of transmission fluid 75 w90 and about 5.5 uh, liter of dual clutch fluid uh, for tomorrow we have a few more cool cars uh, the oil cooler uh, water leak and all service, something mystery with the overboosting issue.